Since we started flying uh, satellites and scientific investigations into deep space, we needed a capability in the southern hemisphere, one, for one thing, that would enable us to, to be certain that we could track these, uh, these various missions. Uh, just as we're going to see over the next 20 years, most of our missions going to deep space uh, are going to be best viewed from the southern hemisphere. So once again, CSIRO and the communications complex here at Canberra will play a key role. Uh, that is the primary reason that, that we came looking for something and, and it was here, all the way back to the very beginning for NASA. The communications complex here in, in Canberra is a part of CSIRO. Uh, has been an incredible partnership for us for 50 years now. It is through this uh, particular complex that we saw Neil Armstrong take his first step on the moon. It's through this complex that we saw Voyager leave, uh, leave our solar system and go into interstellar space. And it's through the work of CSIRO and the Canberra Communications Complex that we actually saw Curiosity uh, several, a, a, at least a second before we did in the United States when it landed on Mars. So this is a continuation of our incredible partnership. NASA is about exploring and uh, we have learned through our own 50 plus year history that we don't do anything alone. So everything that we do is going to be done with international partners. When it comes to communication, uh, this is uh, here and Spain are our principal international partners. And, and being here in Canberra, where that partnership started 50 years ago is one of the reasons that we're here to celebrate the 50th anniversary. I, I'm asked frequently, uh, how do we get young Australian boys and girls to be excited about becoming a part of the exploration community? I think that is the key role that CSIRO has played and, and will have to play even more in the future. There are very few people uh, who actually get an opportunity to go fly. There are thousands, literally thousands of people who support us uh, when we do that. And many of them are right here uh, in Australia. When we go to an asteroid by 2025, or when we put humans on Mars in the 2030s, it will be absolutely critical for young Australians to have to be a part of that team so that we can communicate with our spacecraft that are doing those missions. You know, I'm here because it's the 50th anniversary of the communications complex. But more importantly, as we build this, uh, CSIRO and the communications complex here run it for NASA. So in essence, we are CSIRO. Uh, it's an incredible partnership, an invaluable partnership uh, that has existed for years and we hope will exist for decades to come.